For anyone online, computer security is essential. Individuals can easily have their devices compromised, and some corporations have had multiple breaches. Yahoo confirmed Thursday that hackers stole information from at least 500 million user accounts two years ago. As attacks get more sophisticated, how do you protect a system that has to be completely secure? Sean Peisert is a security expert at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. And in the September 2017 communications of the ACM, he's written about how you keep a supercomputer safe. Berkeley Lab is one of the national laboratories that does what we call open science, which is to say that none of the work that takes place here is, is classified. As a Department of Energy National Lab, most of the work that we do here in some way ties to energy of some kind. We have a computing facility here called NERSC. NERSC is the largest facility used by the Department of Energy uh, for research in, in scientific computing and open science. It has more than 5,000 users uh, at any given time, typically, from around the, the world. The, the people who use this facility receive allocations, which is to say they receive a certain amount of time that they can use to run their programs, a certain amount of disk space that they can use to store their programs, and they, they do many sorts of different types of science, uh, astronomy, high, high energy physics, genomic work. Um, there, there's, uh, there's a substantial amount of, of computing that, that is done here, and that is really a hallmark of modern science now. Why would someone use a supercomputing facility as opposed to a server cluster or, or uh, the commercial cloud for that matter? Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, uh, one of the most prominent tends to be that uh, supercomputers tend to be extremely tightly coupled uh, in a fashion that, uh, that significantly speeds up certain types of computations. The types of uh, computations that do, do best on supercomputers involve a lot of coordinated action between the processors themselves. And if you're losing time to communicate from one processor to another, that's time you're not spend, spending computing. Computer security tends to break down into three areas. CIA. Uh, the C t stands for confidentiality, the I for integrity, and the A for availability. The availability is one that uh, I first started looking at back in 2009. Specifically, one of the problems I was looking at was the potential misuse of supercomputers. So if somebody gained access to accounts with a large number of cycles, what could they do with those accounts? And, and could we detect them using it? Could we detect somebody mining bitcoins on this account or something like that? Traditional firewalls and malware monitoring software aren't an option for supercomputing. The overhead on data and processing is too great and slows down the whole system. Instead, NERSC relies on special detection tools to keep its high-performance computers safe. You tend to see a typical set of programs that are run and a typical order in which they're run as well. Uh, if people start going outside of that typical set of programs, those things can float up on the radar. And so network activity that tends to deviate very much from that, again, that can stand out quite easily from the crowd as well. We've been able to try and isolate pretty well the, the, the things that are legitimate for what scientists do from the things that might be a pattern of action by somebody using supercomputing facilities in an illegitimate way. Some of that pattern matching can be automated, some of that's done by humans, uh, or a combination of the two things as well. This is a national resource, and if somebody is using it for purposes that aren't, or are other than the reason they were granted time, then, then that reflects a waste of time uh, for, for the purpose that the computing facility was dedicated. The integrity issue is also significant. Could somebody tamper with a computing system in a way that would alter the results of the computing in some fashion? That could involve altering the data directly, it could involve altering the, um, the, the software in some fashion that produced the data. The types of things that are, are, tend to be the things that might most worry us uh, could be large-scale misuse of the systems, which again, some of the work that we've done has really been in place to try and detect that. Um, certainly tampering with scientific data um, is, uh, is, is something that we worry about as well. And so uh, building up tools and systems to monitor and protect the integrity of both data and the software that produces that data is quite important. <laughs>